Hello, welcome to Flat4 Education. In this video, you'll discover the different notation tools we have available on our platform. Regarding the note toolbar, you have the different accidentals, the note duration, the type feature, the tuplet, the different insert modes, some beaming functions, and more. Also, you have the transposition tool. With a few clicks, you can transpose by interval, key, or semitones. You can transpose a part, a section, or even the whole score. Another amazing feature here is the color palette. You can select a note or a range of notes and apply any color you want. Another application of this function is to create blank bars or sheets. Choose the note or rest you want to hide and use the transparent color. To finish with the note toolbar, you can insert a second voice to a different duration sequences that play at the same time in a single staff. Then you have the articulation, ornament and dynamic toolbars. with all you need to bring different intentions and colors to your score. Additionally, we have the measure toolbar. You can insert and delete measures, add system breaks, insert multi-measure rests. You can change the settings of the measure as the key and the time signature, the tempo, by the way, you can edit those settings by clicking on the corresponding parts on the score. You can add swing and rehearsal marks. You have the slash and rhythmic notation and much more. The text toolbar enables you to insert lyrics, chords, figured bass and annotations. What else do we have here? The undo and redo tool, the copy, cut and paste tool, here, you can export your score in different formats. You can export the whole score or single parts. And you can directly export it to Soundtrap. Here, you have the layout options, which we will discuss in the next video. Also, you have the zoom in, zoom out, and the option to change the display mode. Last but not least, the audio panel. Here, you can adjust your playback speed and the volume of the different parts. By clicking on Manage Recordings, you can add external audio to your score by pasting a link to a video or audio, or by uploading an MP3 file. Here, you can also adjust the volume of the different parts. 
and this red button is to record yourself playing using a MIDI device while we write the score for you. Here, you have the MIDI device troubleshooting and that's it. Now, it is time for you to let your creativity flow with the most intuitive music notation software in the world. See you in the next video. Bye!